All right, this is a little update from Livingston, Texas on the Walmart closure and some uh, changes that's taken place around here since they closed it. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you what you're gonna see so you'll know what you're looking at. Uh, right after Walmart closed, they had a, uh, an AT&T communications building start construction right at the northeast corner of Walmart. We drove by the other day and uh, I took an up-close picture of the warning sign that it had on the fence, you know, a warning before digging, and it was the AT&T 1-800 number to call. So I'm pretty sure it is an AT&T comm building. Communications building is brick. Uh, it has a Kato light generator set sitting out front. It could be anywhere from 45 to 125 kW. No telling. You can't tell unless you look at the data plate on the generator itself. They have a big HVAC or air conditioning unit sitting outside. All contained. Uh, evaporator and condenser all in one. Ducting going inside. We haven't noticed any trenching or tunneling from the comm building to Walmart. Uh, and if they were going to have uh, need comm equipment inside Walmart or for Walmart, I don't know why they, if it was for that, I don't know why they wouldn't just go ahead and put all the equipment inside Walmart, but it is what it is. When the traffic clears, we'll take off and I'll drive by and give you a look at it. Here we go. If you notice, between here and there, now this is a uh, US 59 South feeder road. Uh, in between here and there, there's not much in between the hospital and uh, Walmart except for woods. Uh, one, one house here on the right. We're getting pretty close to it. I'll pull off on the side of the road and try to stop. Get the window rolled down here. Give you an eyeball of it. Got the chain link fence all the way around it. There's the generator set, the gray thing there, and there's the, the building itself. And if we pull forward just a little bit, I think you can see the air conditioning unit sitting back there. There's a warning sign there. You can zoom in. It says call AT&T. We'll see if we can do that. Yeah, probably can't see it. There's the corner of Walmart right there. And they've got a some kind of van there doing some work. Bucket truck. And if you pull forward here a little bit, you'll see that there is a ah, it's gone. There used to be a trenching machine back there but it's gone now that was just uh, an hour ago we'll pull on through walmart and let you see it from that perspective of course here's the side entrance to walmart and okay the trenching machine is still back there i believe that's what that is or either a limb cut machine I'm not sure we'll try to zoom in and see can't get back there but that's the building back there and uh, what kind of machine that is I'm not sure that orange and white one it's like it's got a or white boom on it but it's real close to Walmart anyway pull through Walmart here and let you see the changes that's taking place here Ugh. They got a rental gen set sitting right here from United Rentals. Big 70 on the side. I assume that's 70 kW. And they uh, got everything still blacked out. Big roll doors closed. The pharmacy is still open. Uh, they're getting FedEx deliveries and whatnot. They were supposed to close the, the uh, pharmacy down after a while, but they uh, they kept it open for some reason. Walmart pharmacy will remain open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m.
So they still got the pharmacy open. Yes. 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 All right, the uh, AT&T Com building is right across the street over there. And they moved that machine, I uh, said it was behind Walmart, and it's over right across the street here. And they're fixing to start tunneling underneath the highway. I guess to put conduit or something under, up underneath there to reach across 59 and go over to the Building. We drove through here the other day. Looks like they got some porta potties set up. Little roll restrooms building with some porta potties behind it. Garden center's all wiped out. And here's a good one. Construction entrance. Y'all saw all them construction trucks and all the plumbing trucks and everything? Yeah, me too. Well, anyway, that's about it. Uh, hope we figure out what's going on here. Y'all take care.